Very good morning to everyone and welcome to the family of Ambika Prasad Research Foundation. Today we will discuss about plant animal interaction. So, what is plant animal interaction? Relationship between plants and animals that may be beneficial or harmful to one or both group come under plant animal interaction. So, it is a relationship between plant and animals. Why plant animal interaction is important in an ecosystem? They are important pathways for the transfer of energy within ecosystem to maintain a stable ecosystem. Plants depend on animals for pollination and seed dispersal. Plants absorb nutrients from decomposed animal bodies to grow. Animals depend on plants for food, shelter, protection, oxygen and so on. Plants provide oxygen, firewood, coal, food, building materials such as wood and bamboo and beauty and weapons like bows and arrows. Animals provide fertilizer, food and pollination, keeping plant species in check while allowing others to flourish. So types of plant animal interaction, predation, parasitism, commensalism, mutualism. Predation, you can observe here predation, that means one taxa hunt to another taxa only. You can observe plant and animal also, both carnivorous plant and some megafauna to microfauna. Parasitism, that means one, only one taxa getting benefit. You can observe the leech, mosquito, cascuta reflexa. Communalism, that means only one benefited, but others have no benefit, no loss. Like uh, orchids, if orchids in one trunk of any tree a species, trees have no benefits and orchids have also no benefit, only the uh, tree provide a platform. Mutalism, that means both are benefited. You can observe the cattle egrate, one buffalo, cattle egrate consume the insects and buffalo, okay. Uh, they, they, that means they just uh, get off the insects. Some important plant animal interaction. This is the munia. Use the inflorescence of Saccharum spontaneum to build nest. And also it do the dispersion. So natural regeneration, munia is responsible in Saccharum spontaneum. This is the red vented bulbul builds a nest one tree using the dried rest nest of red beaver ants and some trees. You know the dried nest of red beaver ants have antifungal and antibacterial activities. So bulbul put in their nest to protect their nest chicks and eggs against the fungal or microbial infection. This is the leaf hoppers, okay. uh, uh, the insect that suck on the shape of plants. They are vectors that transmit viruses to the plant causing harm to them. But it is also a relationship between plant and animal. Now immigrant butterfly take nectar from the flowers of Vitex nugendo and pollinate the plant. You know the Vitex nugendo is very important because it is a natural biopesticide. I think already we discussed about the cattle egrets. So cattle egrets are often found sitting on the back of cow and feeding one ticks found on their bodies. This is the Hanuman langur found feeding on the fruit of ficus bengalensis. Red river ants built their nest on tall trees using larval silk to stick the leaves together and that silk has an antibacterial or antifungal activity. They are an important food of Indian pangolin. So they are also an income source for tribal people. So this interaction creates the livelihood and food also. Apis dorsata, a honeybee feeding on flowers of lantana camara as well as Pollinating the, pollinating the plant. So for 
honey we need the flowering plants now you can observe the sunbird feeds on their nectar from flowers of calotropis gagensia and pollinate the plant this is the bunk miner feeding on the fruit of ficus bengalensis and dispersing their seeds carpenter bee sucking the nectar from calotropis procera in turn pollinating the plant red vented bulbul feeding on fruits of ficus regiosa and dispersing their seeds raspberry paris suta moth pollinating the flowers of hippis sivalenus plant small insect pollinating the flowers of strega densiflora strega densiflora is a parasitic plant male feeding ripened fruits of lantana camara during night time so the moth feeding ripened fruits of lantana camara during night time this is one interaction asian pied starling consuming the fruit of flugia lycopyrus this is one interaction now sunbirds pollinate the flowers of gigipus marutiana in turn getting rewarded with nectar the large number of bio weaver nests are found on the khajur tree this is the palm or phonic silvestris so bio weaver birds are excellent weaving weavers using grasses dried palm and khajur leaves to make the nest reefer tree pie consuming the fruits of lania coromandelica and dispersing their seed male bees get confused with the orchid flowers as females and pollinate the flowers yellow oriental paper wasp consume nectar from the flowers of caricia trifolia and pollinate it snails generally feed on grasses by chewing on the stem and leaves of grasses and helping in pollinating and seed dispersal bee consume nectar from the flowers of coreopeta guineensis or nag champa and pollinate the flowers crustulis or pupa of common crow butterfly on the underside of leaves of glycidium lanceolarium for support spiders make nest to lay eggs by folding the leaves using the produced thread that make their webs thus their webs so that threads also have anti bacterial or anti fungal activity now cicada cicada suck the sap from plants and are an essential component for a healthy forest they provide nutrients and minerals to the soil nest built by asian open bill on the top of tall trees they nest in large groups on a tree so we need big tree top tree like ficus religiosa ficus bengalensis etc these are some preferred food of asian elephant we can use it okay to reduce the human elephant conflict in their habitat sites in their breeding sites in their uh, migratory sites so you can observe plant like abutella mendicum agil marmela sagava americanum alangium salvifolium apluda mutica artocarpa cetrophyllus bambusa bambus bambusa tuladoids bambusa vulgaris bahunia wahali bombex siba so these are some important a fodder plant of asian elephant these are also some preferred food of asian elephant these are also some preferred food of asian elephant so thank you very much for this session